If you're chasing a woman non-stop, you have already lost because she sees you as weak, predictable, and even easy to manipulate. What if I told you that you can flip the script on her and beat her at her own game? And you know the thing is, you don't even need to play those games with her. No, there are things that you can do that would help you earn her love, loyalty, respect, and trust. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. Are you ready? Let's get right into it. First off, if you don't already know this, let me explain a little bit. Most of the reasons why women play games with you is because women are future-oriented. The moment a woman likes you and has romantic feelings for you, in her mind, she's already calculating the future. She wants to know if you're strong, if you can be dependable, if you're resilient, if you have emotional control. And that is the reason why she played those games. Now to her, those are not supposed to be games, but it comes off as games because that is the way, exactly the way you see it. Because it's like push and pull, today she's cold, tomorrow she's hot, giving you mixed signals and sometimes you're even confused. She's trying to test you to know if you're firm, to know if you have emotional control. That is exactly what she's doing. I know the funny thing is that some guys will just bail out of the whole situation because now he doesn't understand what is going on and he doesn't have time for those silly games. But you see, when you do something like that, in her mind, she'll be like, eh, hey, I talk calm. I talk and say, this man, small test, when I the test, and so make her know whether I get good character. See, and we don't reveal in true self. You see, this is exactly what she wants to see. So just bear this in mind. When you start dating someone, a lady you're interested in and you love, and you're seeing a future together with, and she begins to do this push and pull. Today she's hot, tomorrow she's cold. And you know, you just can't seem to understand her. Just bear in mind that she is testing you. It's as simple as that. She did test you, make sure you know which kind of man you be. Sometimes she would infuriate you and do things that will make you so angry. She wants to know how angry you can actually be. If you're the type that will just beat her up and hit things around and break things around her, she just wants to know. Because... If she's going to go into a committed relationship with you in the long run, that decision alone is going to determine what her future will look like. So she wants to rule out the fact that you're not a woman beater, you're not a person who does not have emotional control, that you're someone who is resilient and chasing your dreams and has vision and mission in life. So don't see it the wrong way. When she begins to act like that, just sit her down and have that deep conversation with her. Because sometimes these things are born out of fear. She wants to know that in the future she's going to be safe with you. Now, let's get into those things that you can do to outsmart her games and win her genuine love, respect, loyalty, and trust. When you share your emotions with her, it means that you can trust her. And the moment she feels that you trust her, then she begins to have trust for you. And that's going to breed trust into the relationship. Listen to her needs and concerns without judgment. Don't be the type that will say things like, Yeah, hey, you said you two do women in a while are just too much. Wahala too much. Waiting again. Waiting happen again. No, no, no. <laughs> be that listening ear that would be there and don't judge her. That is how you can gain her trust. And you don't even necessarily have to say anything to show that you're judging her or something, but your reaction can make it seem like you're judging her. And the moment she feels like you're judging her, she will just feel like you don't trust her and she will not trust you. The thing is, every minute you spend with a woman who is interested in you is a minute she takes to analyze you and just determine if you can fit into her future. This is very funny, but that is just the way women are. I told you from the beginning, she is future-oriented. Once a woman is ready to be in a committed relationship and she finds someone she likes, she's already thinking about how many kids she's going to have with this man, what the future would look like, where they would live, and you know, a whole lot. <laughs> it's funny, but that is just the way we are. So gain her trust first. Once you gain her trust by listening to her and not judging her, now she knows that you trust her and she would in turn trust you and it will breed trust into the relationship. If you consistently show that you're reliable, honest, and committed to your promises, she would respect and trust you. Being consistent in your action, even when no one is watching, this is something that is going to build love and loyalty in the long run. Consistency in your action builds a strong foundation for love and loyalty. 
Be a leader and not a controller. A woman will easily respect you if you can take initiative and make confident decisions, especially when you consider her emotions. So be a leader, not someone who controls her and boxes her around. And you know, because she's already thinking that, okay, if I settle down with this man or if I decide to commit to this man for the long haul, is it the type that will box me up in the future and place restrictions on my life? And from your actions and the things you do, she's already determining if you're the type that will let her breathe in the future. When it comes to a relationship, especially a romantic relationship, one of the expectations of a woman is that you are supposed to be a leader. Take charge of things. Take initiative. Make decisions. You can ask her for her opinion. And by the time she sees that you are the forefront making decisions, she's going to trust you. She's going to love you because we love anything that signifies security. And if you're someone who can make very good decisions using your initiative shows that you're already a good driver. I mean, driving into the future and she can rely on you. She can trust in you. And the moment she trusts you, she will stop playing those silly games with you. I told you she's only playing games because she doesn't trust you yet. She doesn't know what she's stepping into what she's committing to. So the moment you're able to gain her trust, every other thing will begin to fall in place. Now, loyalty will fall in place and love will fall in place. Show genuine appreciation and affection. Make her feel valued and loved through regular gestures of appreciation. It doesn't have to be too big. It doesn't have to be too small. Whatever it is you can come up with, be creative with showing her appreciation. Let her know that you appreciate her, whatever input she's making, whatever thing she's doing. Appreciate a woman. It helps. Once a woman feels appreciated, she's going to feel happy. And the moment she feels very happy with you, she's already loving you. She's already trusting you. These things are easy. Forget all these ones I told the women to get well. When I want to do all these ones on top of women, I beg, I beg, I get well. Calm down, bros. <laughs> Follow this thing small, small. <laughs> and you will reap the dividend. Appreciate her. It's in your hands. Let her know that you value her and her opinion matters. One thing I always believe is that before you even approach a woman and tell her you like her, it means that you've seen some things that you both share in common. I don't believe that you can jeer towards someone whom you don't have any kind of fondness for. Like you need to have something in common. There has to be something. Maybe it's a beauty and you're the type that likes beauty, that likes beautiful things. Or maybe it's her intelligence. It's just something that has attracted you. So there is something for you to always appreciate. This word kindness, hey, it encompasses a whole lot. When you're kind to a woman, she will fall in love with you. She would respect you. She will be loyal to you. When you know how to be kind, you know, sometimes you see a lot of people complaining, yeah, my wife, not the year, she not the year, what? Tell her this one, she go do another one. Are you kind to her? Because when you're kind to someone, you respect her boundaries, her opinion. You just know that there are things that will not fly. So that is it. Are you kind? Kindness is something that can break any wall. Kindness is you saying, babe, I know you have these flaws. I know you can be like this sometimes, but I accept you for who you are. I love you for who you are. That is kindness. You accepting her values, accepting her beliefs. You're being kind. You don't encroach. You don't treat her like she's like less of you. That is being kind. So most of the time people complain, eh, this, this, that, 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 that. Are you kind? Are you genuinely a kind person? By being kind alone, any woman will fall for you, respect you, be loyal to you, and have trust for you. I'm telling you, this works every time. If you're consistent in all of these things I've been saying, you can win her over faster than you can imagine. You don't need to play those silly games with her. No, who they play games now for this 21st century? We'll get that time. Games is for small, small children and them. You don't play games. Because you're in it for the long haul. Except, of course, maybe, you know, not just one sample. But I'm talking about people who are serious-minded, who want to go into serious relationship and are looking at the future. If that is you, then you don't have time for games. <laughs> you're trying to build something tangible. You should be communicating, talking together, trying to understand each other well, knowing where you're headed to in life. That is what you should be doing. You're not, he's talking to me today, okay, I'm going to set up a date night and then cancel. Or she's going to call me 15 times and I will not pick up. What's in the other one? 
Okay, you get time. Huh? Not time for games. Okay, so these are the things that would help you win her loyalty, her love, her respect, and her trust. And these are the pillars of every healthy, productive, and mutually benefiting relationship. My name is Wendy Zil. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'm very sure you would like this one. I'll see you there.